saw, I mean, each of the top six teams lose um, over the weekend. A lot of ranked teams have lost uh, over, over the weekend. Was it just one of those days, or do you really believe that this is something to kind of maybe a little bit of a warning shot for people to say, hey, the talent gap is not that wide between these teams that are, you know, in the top 25 and everybody else? I think it's a little of both. Uh, the, the schedule definitely was kind of like a perfect storm for it. Uh, uh, of the seven that lost, uh, five were playing on the road at a ranked team. So like a team that was already really good. One lost at Michigan State, which was the top others receiving votes, number 26, basically. Arizona is really the only team that lost kind of like as a bigger favorite, more surprising. Uh, Gonzaga was playing their toughest road game of the year at St. Mary's. It just kind of all coalesced on the same day that none of these teams had a home game. But I do think there is something to be said that like these teams are not dominant the way that Gonzaga and Baylor were dominant last year. Like they, they're really good, but we don't have that kind of invincible. Is this the best team of the last 20 years kind of chatter going around any, uh, any of these top squads. So I think the bracket, how it shapes up and, and where teams get placed is going to have a lot to do with who you pick. And it's going to be a pretty defensible to pick just about anybody, um, you know, one through three, one through four seeds. I don't think it's going to be obvious, like have to pick a team in any region because all these teams have proven that they can lose uh, a couple games here and there.